Christine Ann Domestic Abuse Services um, offers individuals and families who are experiencing domestic violence primarily safety, um, education, emotional support, and options. So we offer a 24-7 37 bed shelter located here in Oshkosh for any individuals. So men, women, children, families, individuals of the LGBTQ community, anyone is welcome to stay in our shelter who is experiencing domestic violence. And um, our service area is primarily Winnebago and Green Lake counties, but we do serve people from other counties if it is too unsafe for them to stay in their county that they're currently residing in. Um, on top of our shelter, we do also offer outreach services to people who don't need the shelter, but they still need that, those options and those resources and that emotional support from an advocate. So we have um, an outreach office located in Menasha inside the Levin building, and then we also have an outreach office in Green Lake too, inside of the Federated Church. So that is for, again, those clients um, in the, our other service areas, not necessarily in Oshkosh, who still need that support and options and resources. Um, and then we also have our youth team as well. So our youth team is in nine different school districts in Winnebago and Green Lake counties. And we service all youth who may be impacted by unhealthy relationships in their home life, or they themselves are going through an unhealthy um, relationship. So we help provide support and options and um, you know, help them work through that. There are a lot of different opportunities um, and ways that you can get involved. Um, donating to either one of our organizations is always an option financially in terms of um, providing support to our programs, our services that we offer, um, but also in-kind donations too. There's things that we are always looking for and those things that you can find on our website. Um, so there are a list of items that are changing continuously that we have on our website that people can look at if they're interested in donating financially. You can donate your time, you can get involved with any one of our events that we have going on, um, help around at our shelter or at our organization. So there are definitely a lot of different opportunities um, along with just being an advocate in the community and spreading the word. That's really important too. As Alicia said, there's a lot of different ways to get involved with either of our organizations. With REACH, we really are focusing on a lot of outreach and advocacy support. Um, of course, fiscal donations and in-kind donations make any nonprofit run smoother. But the main opportunity at REACH we have for community members to get involved is 24-7 um, advocacy coverage. So I train volunteer advocates to respond because we know sexual assaults don't pop up just during business hours. So we always have an advocate on call to take phone calls from folks that need help or just looking to get some questions answered. They also accompany survivors to the hospital when they have their sexual assault kit exam done so that there is always somebody day or night there with them to provide emotional support, to say, hey, you're not alone, I believe you, and these are some services you can access in the future. So we just really try hard to make sure that we have that 24-7 coverage and our volunteers help us do that. So REACH has a lot of different programming within our agency. We serve primarily Winnebago County. Sometimes um, we do provide services to the surrounding counties in the valley as well. But we are a licensed mental health clinic as well as a sexual assault center. So we have trained therapists that provide trauma-informed um, therapy to survivors of violence, primarily sexual assault and domestic violence. Um, all the way, you know, as young as age four throughout the lifespan. So anyone that's had an experience with trauma um, at any point in their lives, it doesn't have to be recent. Sometimes we know it takes years to come forward. They can contact us for those um, long-term mental health services. And then we also have community education and advocacy. So my team of advocates, um, we cover a lot of ground. Um, in Winnebago County, we have our um, court advocacy, which works with the court system. Legal advocacy assists folks who want to get involved with law enforcement. Medical advocacy I mentioned with um, accompaniment to sexual assault exams. And we have specialized programming for the Native American population and the Latina community as well as on campus. So those are some really great services that we offer. I should mention trafficking too. We have a trafficking specific advocate who does a lot of work um, in our community too, so I would not um, want to forget her. And then our educators are also out in the community in almost all the schools in Winnebago County talking at age appropriate levels about abuse and violence and healthy relationships and consent and all of those um, different topics. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. 
and House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard.